Hey, 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 everybody. This is cool and cool and your jets out here in Gilbert, Arizona. I'm glad to see people are finally commenting. I've had this video posted for a long time, seven months, and these flat earthers that just came into the flat earth movement in like, what, uh, in the last four or five months, they're getting three, four, five thousand, twenty thousand views, etc. And what? Me? Oh, I'm only getting 200. And what did I point out in my video? I pointed out a mathematical observation in a ball earth orbiting a ball sun. I made a second video about it here. I made a third video. All you got to do is type in flat earth, or not flat earth, ball earth is 180. That's all you got to type in, ball earth. See up here? You can see what I typed in, ball earth. Uh, theory, 180 degrees out of sync. Bingo. I'm on the top three right there. This was a comment I made about it here. This is, uh, I don't know if that's a comment I made it yet. Yeah, might be. This is me illustrating uh, the idea that this has been a Hollywood illumination in their movies. And I am big on the Bible being an occultic book. This is a video I made a long time ago. Not too long ago. Let's see, what's the date? September 1st. This one here, see what it says. Antichrist 666 Flat Earth. Well, I got a measly 134 views. I explain the concept of six months, <laughs> 60 minutes in a sec, or 60 seconds in a minute, you know, <laughs> and 60 seconds in a minute. 666 on the opposite side of the sun, this being the sun, the earth being here basically in a 360 degree concept of a uh, circle, you know, or orbiting a sun that, yeah, 182 days on the opposite side, basically 180 degrees out of sync in a 360 scenario. You know, they could make, realistically, you could make a, uh, you know, these were called what? When we were kids, remember you had the half of one in school. What was that called? The protractor, protractor, right? <laughs> anyway, yeah, you could have a 366 degree circle. 366. In fact, I made a video talking about the Chinese. Used to have an astrological observation calendar that was much more efficient with, uh, of the stars and sun and moon moving around above our head based on 300 and th a 366 day movement of the stars uh, and sun moving around in the heavens. But anyway, okay, so now, uh, yes, and this has flat earth in it. The Bible is the Bible uh, ideology of what the Antichrist is. The Antichrist would be the opposite of the sun. See, I'm into the idea, and that's what my videos are all about. That's what my videos are all about on my channel. Jesus is the sun, is the representation of uh, the earth's sun personified uh, in story form on the physical earth. And uh, one of my best, I think, one of my best videos, I've never ever seen this information. Never. This should be viral information. It's so radical. Viral, viral. And it fits in with all the ancient occultic history, Northern Europeans, biblical, blah, 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 the well, the people that lived in the Mediterranean and, and what we call the Jews in the Holy Land and yada, yada, yada. Uh, where's it at here? I'll find it. It's called the ultimate personification of the sun. S-U-N, sun. Uh, it was back here pretty close to some of my first videos right here. Oh, everybody out there in YouTube land, this is... Yeah, this was back before I started going, this is a c c c c c c c <laughs> Yeah, I used to talk normal. But I got so irritated with people. People don't like normal. I had to be radical. But that's why I'm radical. I, I've been called radical. But check into this video if you get a chance. The ultimate personification of the sun. Sun dog. It gives some pretty decent information. The Bible, an occultic book. That's what I'm saying, guys. It's an occultic book. It is an occultic book. And people are finally understanding at every level of the New Testament and the Old Testament. You can find literal, uh, what do you call them, metaphors 
either in the physicalness of the Earth itself and or the astrological observations applied to and understood in the stories. They are creative stories, creative writing, creative writing. You guys ever heard that before? Yes, when you went to school? Do a creative writing on, you know, your teacher, English teacher, yada, yada, yada. So, yes, flat earth. 180 degrees out of sync. And when you're 180 degrees out of sync, what happens? You end up finding out that, oh, I, I don't have it up anymore. I thought I had it up. My Antichrist, 666. Flat Earth. Let's type that in just to see if it shows up on the top of a Google search. F-L-A-T, Flat Earth. Ah. Antichrist. 666. Boom. <laughs> Antichrist 666, Flat Earth YouTube. <laughs> the Antichrist has been revealed. Yeah, this was about the time I started picking up my cool. It is a schooling attitude, and it's what it is. It's an attitude. Because you people don't get it. Oh, some of you do, and I appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. Uh, those that bitch and claim that it's all bullshit, they probably know it's the truth. See? They are what you call the disinformation agents and or uh, the opposition that don't want us to realize, don't want humanity to realize that the Bible's an occultic book based around astrological or other types of personifications. And it was written by a bunch of theists. Theists. Not men of faith in God the way we understand it from the preachers preaching from the pulpit. That's all bullshit. I'm not an atheist. I believe in higher power concept ideology. Well, uh, more, a little more than that, actually. I mean, I'm into... <laughs> yeah. What am I into, Russ? Ooh. Let's see. Check it out. Let's go here. We got... Oh, my baby. Oh. We got... We got... Uh, flat Earth Man in the Moon. Uh... Flat Earth, you're going to the moon. Uh, the moon's an alien base and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, stuff. That see, that's what I'm into. See, I'm into the uh, the alien aspect. Yeah, Flat Earth. The Bible was not written for the common folks. No, it wasn't. Most people couldn't read. The Bible was for the aristocratic elites that were trying to set up their own little power grid kingdoms. It's that freaking simple, man. But you know. Um, yeah, understanding all the other. It's not like the pagans. The pagans, they understood the stuff too. They understood it, but they understood it in a different light. A different format ideology. Uh, but anyway, okay, you guys get what I'm saying. So Antichrist. Antichrist. Is it still out there? Where is it? Where is it? Antichrist. Antichrist. 666 right here. Hey, everybody. So what we got? Eight minutes. Watch this video. I will tag it to this one I'm making. This is really good. It explains that the revealing of the Antichrist has everything to do with the flat earth and the dark side and the light side of the ball earth theory actually being incorrect. You reveal the earth not having a dark side in correlation with, you get, you get my point, on the right, on the side that it's supposed to be, in a, in a half-arc orbit. You reveal the darkness. Get it? Uh, yeah. It all uh, it all applies. You know what I'm saying. So, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, don't subscribe. Don't matter. But you've had the Antichrist revealed to you. And it's not a person. Isn't that what the Bible said? It's not a person. No. If somebody says it's a person, don't follow them. It's not a person. It's an ideal, an ideology. So, there you go. Have a good day.